Hi gang, welcome back to another episode of Man Time. Today I'm going to be trying to uh, fix the tire on the dump truck here that the limb went through the sidewall. I've got a couple different ways that I'm going to try to break those lug nuts off. They look like they're going to be pretty tough. Uh, I'll show you a couple neat uh, tips and tricks on how to get uh, really torqued down bolts loose that I've learned through the years and uh, taken apart. Well, this dump truck and caterpillars and tractors and all kinds of fun stuff. So stick around and welcome to man time. All right, good. That's not an ant pile. Okay, so here is going to be the tools of the trade while we're out here. These, these are an inch and a half. And I don't have an inch and a half socket. So we're going to determine what's going to be the best tool to take, uh, take these lug nuts off with. I'm, I'm guessing it's this uh, 20 inch PNC manufactured in USA. Um, big wrench. It could be this big wrench. Uh, the adjustable monkey wrench. Also made in the USA. Solid steel handle. And... Last but not least, the curved um, adjustable monkey type wrench. All of these are well-built, well-designed tools from, uh, from back in the day when, uh, when men used real tools. So let's, uh, let's start off with our curved wrench here. These also have some sort of safety lock, um, safety lock nut on them. So I'm gonna, grab a punch and of course I've got my engineer's hammer here for anything that seems like it's going to be a problem Wow yeah these are really on there so then there's the final tool in the toolbox which is a cheater pipe now if you're at work and uh, you see one of the guys at work turning a wrench and and having a big problem with it don't just run over and say, here, put a cheater pipe on it, because that'll draw the safety guys from miles away. They'll all just up in arms, hear cheater pipe, and come running out to the shop floor, stopping every sort of uh, activity that's going on. So use the cheater pipe when you're at the house and you need to put a little extra torque on something. Don't use the cheater pipe at work, because apparently these tools are designed to only have the person using them putting torque on them. Well, that's going to be a problem. Dang it, now i got to put the jack back down. So attempt number one didn't go so well. Uh, I put this on going the correct direction, stepped on it with the cheater pipe, and just rounded the edge of this nut completely off. So I don't know if these were put on there by some sort of Superman or what but they got they're covered in PB blaster and uh, I told the guy at the tire shop who had the used tire that I'd come bring the rim in tomorrow with the uh, flat tire on it so one way or another these are coming off today so we'll uh, we'll first try with the hammer to try to break it and then uh, if that doesn't work I don't exactly know what we're gonna do but we'll hold a little bit of tension on there more trials and tribulations here so I'm basically resorted to getting the biggest wrenches that I could find and seeing if we can't uh, lever our way to freedom here and if that doesn't work I just got a really big hammer and we can try that too but I'm going to put all my weight on these two wrenches and uh, see if that doesn't work. If not, I'll jump up and down on them. This has got to be a ton of torque on there, and it's just not budging.
is crazy on there. Crazy. All right, more PB Blaster, I guess. <laughs> Woo! All right, so there is the ticket. A gigantic freaking, how many pounds is this thing? 12 pound, about a 12 pound splitting maul and the right size wrench. Holy Lord, really? <laughs> Stay out of the threads. Alright gang, we've got our jack back up and uh, got them all loosened up, should be able just to, uh, a little bit of brawn, get them off of here, get the tire in my car and get it to the tire shop in the morning. But uh, yeah, this is uh, it's all part of being a man, right? You got to do the hard work. Uh, it's about having skills acquired throughout life and life skills. Um, you know, there, there's there's something going on with our economy right now, and you just never know. And you want to be the guy that uh, the boss calls when there's a big problem and says, Hey, didn't you used to fix uh, tractors and know how to take off semi-truck tires with just hand tools and you can figure stuff out like that, right? I got a project for you. I need you. That's a good feeling. So, part of it's doing the work. Part of it's acquiring the labor. The other part of it is how to adapt the labor and the knowledge that you learn into your other daily activities, right? Something to think about. Thanks for joining me today on Man Time, guys. Get out there. Get dirty. Get greasy. 
turn some wrenches, get sweaty, have fun. See you next time. Sorry about the sound on this stupid little camera. These uh, 4K action cameras aren't very good with the sound, so I'll try to speak at a elevated rate. Uh, so what happened was I got the uh, used tire, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to put it back on here. Hopefully it goes a little bit smoother than taking it off, right? One thing that I grabbed here, just essential to this operation, anti-seize. If there's one application where anti-seize needs to be used, it's right here. Okay, well another one in the books here. Um, there was a lot of fallout from this last weekend and uh, yeah, I'm going to put another wrench on there, torque all these down. Probably not quite as tight as they were coming off, but uh, anyways. The fallout this weekend was pretty heavy. I had a pop tire, um, actually a, a fuel line busted on the 555, um, and I jacked with the pop-off pressure, so I'm going to have to redo the pop-off pressure on those, and I'll check those out as long as I've got it down and waiting on the fuel line to come in from Ford. I'll do an oil change and a hydraulic filter change. Um, the uh, Mahindra needed a, fuel, um, needed a hydraulic filter, and uh, I didn't get that in before the weekend, so I've got to put that on there. And the John Deere. Uh, finally, the, uh, the John Deere fuel pump came back from the uh, place that rebuilds them. So I've got this down, which just came back up. I've got the 555 down, the Mahindra down, and the John Deere down. The entire operation pretty well shut down. Um, so this weekend, temperatures in the uh, triple digits Stuff's got to get done. Um, temperatures in the triple digits today, yesterday. Um, so, you know, just stuff that men have to do, right? We've got to work hard, got to get it done. Uh, regardless of temperature, we got to be prepared. So, that's what I'm trying to do here. And, uh, you know, maybe somebody will learn something from that. Um, you know, kids sitting on the couch playing video games, maybe take a lesson or two that uh, sometimes you got to man up, do what needs to be done, um, regardless whether you want to or not. Um, sometimes it just needs to happen so thanks for joining me on man time today for our uh, maintenance update on the f800 here and uh, again give me a thumbs up a like subscribe comment let me know if I'm doing good bad otherwise and uh, thanks for joining me on man time guys see you next time